Do you want to follow along? This one pitches off, and Kasher will need to send it away. He makes the touch. Oh, and what? No, no way. What are you kidding me? Look at this pinch from Cookster. I don't believe what I'm seeing right now. 124 kilometers per hour. Um, Cooks. <laughs> I know you were talking about how like, much you like the Batmobile. Can we maybe ban him from oh that car? My, he's, he's like, oh, it's the old Batmobile. It's good. Now I can do my, my black magic. What was that? that Firebringer, he misses on the wall, on the ceiling there, and actually gets his jump reset to jump himself straight back down. Oh, and finally, Squishy shoots it off. So close as they let that one wrap back around. Jacob could find Garage. He was hanging up very shallow. Squishy net won't be there. Oh, oh. but it touches. The ball is just pixels in the goal, and we go to game five. The magic pixel strikes again, oh denying goodness. NRG. This is the second time. Oh, that was so close. NRG could have forced the overtime, but they just needed to shoot shot to be that little bit higher mm. and cloud nine like the steam engine right now slowly getting faster and faster and looking more and more comfortable in this series you want to see how close it was i want to see how close it was we can take another look at that final shot here as it was just ever just just the, the pass from jacob was right there and then Oh, oh, so like, like, oh, that you is can see the magic pixel on the server side. It looks like it's in, but or on our side, it looks like it's in, but on the server side, it's, they, they just know it's not, so it's not there. Oh. G2 Rizzo on that wall. He has had some difficulties there in the past, but this time he comes out solid. There's the shot, the double tap there from JNAPS. We are all tied up one game apiece. JNAPS can't find the goal the first time or the second time, but the third time he'll make it count, just following up his own in and pinching it in. G2 tying up the match. That might be the most ugly, pretty goal I've ever seen. But, but oh, I miss. I can go on and on. Because oh. I have some like, southern family members. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm insane. Oh my god, that's gross. I didn't have any boost. That was like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude, that was disgusting. <laughs> Goes in the goal, it's gonna knock a lot, uh, it'll knock that number, the speed, the miles per hour, the kilometers per hour down considerably. So we will see um, how they're able to how they're able to continue but on. Sends himself to the ceiling, Devo takes the shot and finally panda to clear. Four minutes of overtime gone. Such a close match between these teams. Easy Meister takes towards the goal. Violent Panda to wrap it around. Kadop sitting back in net. Now Violent Panda look for the dribble. He's got Kadop to work with in midfield, but Remco takes it away from him and is just Turbo in the back. Remco with the drop. Turbo gets a save, but Violent Panda puts another touch on it. Greasy keeps it competitive, and here comes Devo to drop it nice and soft. No, it's back in the box. Remco in with another one. It doesn't go in. The defense holds. The touches just aren't quite there, and Gilforce did just enough to make it work. And now on the other end of the field, can Violent Panda put it in? No, Greasy clears it. Turbo through. No, it's shut down again by Devo. The monstrous the play. He would have had more options, but instead, he effectively just popped that one straight up. Incoming. And Farah oh, picks the goal. Oh, the fake kickoff. The flick over the top. Farah introduced himself to the RLCS with his mind game plays, and he does it again here at the end of season four. The anti-fake kickoff <laughs> tech. It took us a few years, but we finally have it. And they are readable. Yeah. Teams do tend to do completely different things, like go for boosts that they wouldn't normally care to drop this one down. Shaw set up Remco. They get the bump on Greasy Meister in net, but it's not in. No, Farah clears it away. Bluey <laughs> drops it immediately. Let's talk about oh, Europe really quick. This is this. Oh. Sorry, bud. <laughs> I didn't clip see it. it. I'm so sorry. Don't clip it. Well, no, I wanna, don't, don't, do don't clip that. James I want to talk on about. The I did. That was a mistake. I'm sorry. <laughs> See, gave me, I'll give you. <laughs> I'm raising nuts. What the fuck? Clip it. He says he wants it clipped. Wah, I did not die. Wait. Holy fuck, that was nutty! Holy shit, I've never had something that good! What the hell? 
with the scuffed hit, going to allow Illusion, but he tries to play it early. I don't think he even had a player to aim for. The Legion's starting to panic with their offense. They need to try and find a way through. Get those passing plays that we saw in game number one against FlyQuest. But this is a desperate situation. Yeah, a really good play as well from Riz over the top here. The ball just see Tyler trying to come down. Plays up right over the top. Almost makes the last ditch effort. A good attempt. But Rizzo did have the awareness to pop it over the top. JNAPS, Tyler, Tyler, has he got options to look for? Kronobi trying to take away Seabass. Seabass with the side flip as well. Now just has to hit the floor, and it will. G2 are going to go 2 0 up in the series. Huge for them and for the ability to get a better win percentage. Obviously, we talked about Hollywood eating those wins for tie purposes, and in their match later in the day, if they don't get that win, it's going to be a very crucial situation. So for them to try and get a sweep here pays dividends down later on. Yep, certainly does. G2 currently 2-0 up, and they're starting to get better and better, as what I'm seeing of them. Starting to warm up more and more. Remember, they have got a game later on, a potentially crucial game yeah. against Ghost Gaming, which will be our fifth match up on today. So there's a lot to stick around for. I do apologize to all the Europeans out there. Just go, oh, we got like... Actually, it's Sunday tomorrow. I think it'll work. You've got no excuses. Stay up. <laughs> Just sit and watch. There's, right? no, there's no complaints anymore. Stay up, watch the Rocket League, and enjoy it. Right. As for Allegiance on the other does he get an opportunity now? Looks like he's out of boost. Can't really catch up to the ball. Chaos now. Chaos. Yeah, what are we doing? He's going oh, oh, what a shot from Chaos ADM. That is incredible. All the way. That, like, that was from way within his own half. What on earth? I've never seen him do quite a shot like that before. Oh my God. It's about the risk of taking a devil. Can they put this one oh. in? Oh, let them here with the follow-up. Finds it off of the crossbar bounce. Such a difficult read here for Lethemir. He had defenders in the way too. Look at him play that one through. Ghost takes game one. Well, you, you talked about them being tangled up in that corner. And it's because one of them forced a demo. He decided to try to clear it up, but a long clear. I'm dead. What? <laughs> What? If conspiracy, okay, conspiracy versing Chiefs and then Avant. Conspiracy may or may not beat Chiefs, but then if they take down Avant, Avant are out of the power six. That that could be it. No, I, I reckon that's a fair fair Ooh. statement. Is definitely we'll be seeing a new time in OCE where conspiracy is considered deservedly one of the top teams. Yeah, well, we're in our first series of the day here at OCE Championship. The road to RLCS. And I can't wait to see her and be back in this series. Ambition, if they thought this was going to be an easy win, Incognito is definitely making them think a little bit differently, but Prime Thunder carries this the entire way across the field by himself, unchallenged. It's 2-2. Two two. Puts it on his back, and there's no one. Jay Wismont banged and knocked out completely.